Andrea Tinteros sues Fox News. Isles shine for sexual harassment. Andrea Tinteros, a Fox News broadcaster, filed a sexual harassment lawsuit Monday against Fox News. Former CEO Roger Isles and other Fox executives. Another highly charged legal challenge for the conservative-leaning news network as it seeks to get past a turbulent management change triggered by a similar case. Fox News masquerades as defender of traditional family values, but behind the scenes, it operates like a sex-fueled playboy mansion like cult, steeped in intimidation, indecency, and misogyny, according to her lawsuit filed in the New York Supreme Court in New York County. The lawsuit, whose defendants also include Fox News co-president Bill Shine, Communications Chief Irena Briganti, General Counsel Diane Brandy, and Suzanne Scott, Executive Vice President of Programming and Development, comes two weeks after Tinteros complained about her experience to New York Magazine. Fox News said it doesn't comment on pending litigation. Ailes's lawyer, Susan Estrick, couldn't immediately be reached for comment. In early July, former Fox News broadcaster Gretchen Carlson sued Isles for sexual harassment, claiming that the 76-year-old executive decided not to renew her contract after she refused to sleep with him. She also alleged that Isles ignored her reports of disparaging treatment in the newsroom. Isles has denied the allegations. After an internal investigation by 21st Century Fox, the parent of Fox News, Isles stepped down on July 22nd and left the company with a $40 million severance package. Carlson's lawsuit, filed only against Isles, is ongoing. Since Carlson's lawsuit, other Fox News female employees have come forward with their sexual harassment complaints or public support of Carlson. Among them was Megyn Kelly one of Fox News' most heavily promoted primetime anchors, who told Fox's investigators that she too was sexually harassed by Isles in one of her earlier years at the network. After Isles left, Fox News overhauled its management by naming Shine and Jack Abernethy, CEO of Fox Television Stations, as co-presidents, reporting directly to Rupert Murdoch, co-executive chairman of the board of 21st Century Fox. In her lawsuit, Tinteros claims Isles allegedly asked her for a hug and told her to turn around so I can get a good look at you. Isles also allegedly commented that Tinteros would look good in a bikini. Isles also allegedly asked Tinteros about the sexual relationships of other Fox News employees. Tinteros, known for her vociferously conservative politics, says she complained multiple times to senior Fox executives, including Shine, Scott and Brandy, about Ailes' behavior. In a meeting in spring of 2015, Shine allegedly told Tinteros that Ailes was a very powerful man and that she needed to let this one go. Her lawsuit reads, once her complaints were revealed to management, she was taken off the air, Tunteros says. Since Carlson's lawsuit, other Fox News female employees have come forward with their sexual harassment complaints or public support of Carlson. Among them was Megyn Kelly, one of Fox News' most heavily promoted primetime anchors, who told Fox's investigators that she too was sexually harassed by Isles in one of her earlier years at the network. After Isles left, Fox News overhauled its management by naming Shine and Jack Abernethy, CEO of Fox Television Stations, as co-presidents, reporting directly to Rupert Murdoch, co-executive chairman of the board of 21st Century Fox. In her lawsuit, Tinteros claims Isles allegedly asked her for a hug and told her to turn around so I can get a good look at you. Isles also allegedly commented that Tinteros would look good in a bikini. Isles also allegedly asked Tinteros about the sexual relationships of other Fox News employees. Tinteros, known for her vociferously conservative politics, says she complained multiple times to senior Fox executives, including Shine, Scott and Brandy, about Ailes' behavior. 
In a meeting in spring of 2015, Shan allegedly told Tenteros that Isles was a very powerful man and that she needed to let this one go. Her lawsuit reads, Once her complaints were revealed to management, she was taken off the air. Tenteros says, Shine has previously said Tenteros never complained to him about Isles sexually harassing her. But Brandy sent a letter to Tanta Rose lawyer that the network suspended her with pay because she failed to vet her 2016 book tied up in knots. How getting what they wanted has made women miserable. With the network, the book's cover shows Tenteros bound by ropes. For Isles did not act alone. Tanta Rose lawsuit reads, he may have been the primary culprit, but his actions were condoned by his most senior lieutenants who engaged in a concerted effort to silence Tinteros by threats, humiliation, and retaliation. Tinteros also says Briganti allegedly placed insulting stories about her to various news organizations and posted negative comments about Tinteros from sock puppet social media accounts. A sock puppet is a deceptive online account operated by a person or company under a false identity.